Good morning, class family. It's a wonderful Wednesday. If you haven't done so already, remember to hit the subscribe button. Let's look at the message together. Show me that you're a teen and a class family. Fall with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Let's start with a date. Do you remember what the name of this month is? Let's look at it. Hmm. I know it starts with M, like M man. Mm. Let's look at it. Mm, arch, March. Did you remember it's March? If you did, great job. Let's read the date together. March 2nd, 2022. Dear class family, today is Wednesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review the ABCs and fast words. Next, we will listen to a story and share our thinking. Then, during writing workshop, we will tell a story across our fingers. Last, we will choose one small moment and begin to sketch across the pages. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's talk about some of the things that we're doing today at school in language arts. Do you remember the date for today? Point to it. Let's read it again together. And do you notice the uppercase letter? Remember, we always make each first letter of the month a capital letter. Let's read it together. Ready? March 2nd, 2022. Let's look at our greeting. Dear class family, I noticed a capital D for dear. Did you see at the beginning here? We always have a capital D for our greeting and you capitalize the name of whoever you're writing to. Since you are my class family, that's why we have the capital C and capital F. Let's go ahead and look at the next sentence right here. Read it in your head. What day of the week are we on today? Do you remember? Hmm, look at this word. It begins with a W, like W wind, wah, wah. Wednesday, Wednesday. Did you remember it's Wednesday? If you did, go ahead and pat yourself on the back. Let's read this telling sentence together. Today is Wednesday, and it's a wonderful Wednesday. Let's look at the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family. We learn a lot at school every day to pump our brains with knowledge. That's what students do when they go to school. They learn different subjects from many teachers. Let's look at the next sentence. First, we review the ABCs and fast words. Okay, kindergartners, so we'll be looking at our word wall and reviewing the ABCs and singing the ABC song. Do you remember what tune the ABC song, what other song is the same? Do you remember? If you said Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, you're right. The ABC song and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star have the same tune, but just different words. Go ahead and kiss your brain if you remember that. And we're going to review letters and sounds as well as the fast words. These words need to know, read, and spell in kindergarten. We're going to use these in our writing. So we're going to review this this morning. Let's look at the next sentence. Next, we will listen to a story and share our thinking. Okay, we'll listen to a story, and remember, when we do that, we're going to be a great communicator. We're going to be listening and asking questions, sharing our thinking. We're going to be speaking and writing so that others can understand us. The story we're going to be focusing on today is another very special Mo Willems book. This is Waiting is Not Easy by Mo Willems. This is an elephant and piggy book. We're going to be looking at this book together and sharing our thinking. First, we'll be looking through the book and doing a picture walk. Remember, good readers look at the pictures before reading the words, and they think about what's happening in the story. I see Elephant and Piggy here. Oh my goodness, best friends. Look at all the speech bubbles. They're saying so much with each other. We're going to go ahead and do a picture walk, and we're going to look through this book, and then we're going to read the book, and we're going to see some very special things. I want to show you a funny moment. Are you ready? I wonder what's happening here. Roan. Eek. I wonder what happened. 
happens during this moment. We're going to go ahead and look at this book together, Waiting is Not Easy by Mo Willems, and share our thinking. That's what good readers do. They look at books and they talk about them and share their thinking. Then during writing workshop, we will tell a story across our fingers. So during writing workshop, we'll get our resources, we'll pass out the, the storybook that you started. I know some of you picked your idea yesterday, um, but we'll get all of our materials together, our alphabet chart, ABC list, our booklet, our pencil, crayons, and colored pencils. We'll get those materials together. And then you are going to tell your story across your fingers. That's what good writers do in kindergarten. And then after you do that, you're going to point to the paper and tell your story there also, and then just draw the pictures. All right. So last, we'll choose one small moment and begin to sketch across the pages. Love this joiner. So some of you have already picked your small moment and you've already written your first and last name on your cover and started to draw your cover. And some of you have begun to uh, started to think about a title. Okay, we'll look at the inside and after you have told your story on your fingers, then you're going to take your paper and you're going to tell the story on the page. After you tell with words and pointing, you're going to go ahead and sketch it by starting to draw your story about one small moment. Remember yesterday we brainstormed a list of ideas about our life and different things that we could write about and we're thinking about a small moment to really focus on for this personal narrative. All right, let's go ahead and have a fantastic day. Get your fans ready. Fantastic. Later today when we practice being a good communicator for our question, we're going to do T-chart yes or no answers and we are going to be sharing what our answer is and why. Look at the picture first. Oh, I see all these turtles. Do you like turtles? Think about what your answer is. And later when we share this, we're going to say yes or no and your reason why. And practice being a great communicator at school. Do you like turtles? <laughs>